get there before we do. Like, like the treasure hoarders Gaia told us about. Anyways, Paimon just wants to borrow the sword to... Uh, no, you heard nothing. Paimon, uh, Paimon just wants to see it. <laughs> Definitely not to become super mega powerful and do nothing but play. <laughs> Alright, Paimon will save the chit chat for later. Arcadian treasure hunt, here we go! Ha! Arcadian ruins. Is it just me? Or does it look plain? Oh, Paimon gets it. The perfect disguise is always in plain sight. Kaya's grandpa sure is impressive. It's 
suspicious. We're close. Hurry, the treasure is waiting for us. Let me help you. Leave it to me! Ready when you are. Guess we can run. Urine for a little shock. <laughs> oh, so sorry. Freeze. What's the hurry?
my treasure? Let's look around. <laughs> I'll save you the trouble. How about you let me take over? Sharp eye, but too slow. I'm Izzard. I thank you both on behalf of the treasure hoarders. Ah, uh, We've been keeping a low profile. How did word get out? Hmm. Paimon won't let you have the treasure without a fight. You would be wise not to underestimate us. My gang is just outside waiting for my order. However, they're not as, uh, sociable as me. I'm sorry to rain on your parade, but your gang won't be participating in your current plan. If you'd like to ask why, you can go see them. In Mondstadt Prison. Or perhaps you'd prefer to join them permanently. The Knights. Hey, it's Kaya! Kaya, he wants to see your treasure! Get him! Ugh, almost had it. Oh, you mean the treasure? Sorry, but there wasn't any treasure to begin with. You came all the way for nothing. Just give it up. What? No treasure? Did Kaya just say there isn't any treasure? Huh, <laughs> you got me good. Didn't think the knights would resort to such tactics. A thief has no right to criticize the methods of the knights of Fav Wait, what are you- You're not gonna get me! Okay, oh god, Whoa, what is this? I didn't mean it! <laughs> what a troublemaker. You, Knight! You're not gonna watch me die, are ya? Hmm, what an interesting suggestion. Fine, I I'll confess and go quietly, please, just help me! All right then, guess I will have to do some overtime work after all. Dodge this! Time for retribution! How embarrassing, having my life saved by a knight. Don't forget what you promised, or that thing will be the least of your worries. Hey, is this how the Knights of Favonius treats the people they catch? <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, let's take him back. Sir, yes sir. Uh, Captain, should we take these two in as well? Uh, what? <laughs> of course not. They are the ones who made this arrest possible. Without them spreading our fabricated intel, we wouldn't have been able to catch the treasure hoarders. All right, all right, stop it already. Though the treasure doesn't exist, you did want it for yourself, didn't you? Otherwise you would have informed me of your intentions, no? That... well... uh... hmm... Let's go! Hyman's done talking to him! <laughs> just a sec. You did help me out, so you do deserve a reward. This? is the triumphant Harbinger of Dawn that points towards victory. As its name suggests, it symbolizes light and victory. If you don't mind, I would like to present you with this Harbinger of Dawn as a reward. Harbinger of Dawn? That's right. It suits a well-cultured and disciplined person such as yourself. Wouldn't you say, Paimon? Reward is this Harbinger of Dawn. You'd forgive me, right? I'm honored to have such an understanding friend. Yes, yes. 
You have my apologies for the deception. I will not use the same method twice. solved the puzzles all by yourself and arrived before me. So it was you who left all those clues? Indeed. However, even I believed the clues were too vague to be of any help to you. I was prepared to answer your questions. Quite impressive. This was the only thing that I did not anticipate in the entire operation. Ha! That was nothing! <laughs> no matter what you say, I acknowledge your wisdom. After all, wisdom itself does not deceive. But some people do enjoy deceiving others with their wits. <laughs> what a wonderful day. Now, I have to go interrogate my suspect. Please excuse me. Do come visit me at our headquarters when you have the chance. Everywhere. How's that wind glider I gave you last time? <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? You gotta have a gliding license to legally glide in Mondstadt. Oh, but... We've been gliding for ages now. This is the first we've heard about it. 
Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone's noticed. <laughs> so, you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way! The Knights of Avonius have strict rules. You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. I gave you your wing glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what acting Grandmaster Jean would say. An exam? <sighs> what a pain in the butt! Then again, since Amber is the ex I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But we do need to respect the rules and glide properly. Here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. Just be familiar with everything in there. For example, only one person per wing glider. No carrying anything over the set weight limit. No taking off using an animal slime, and so on and so forth. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big, thick books, too, when Lisa was teaching me magic. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon thinks we best get started. Great, come find me when you're done. I'll be at Windrise. <sighs> the Knights of Avonia's gliding manual does not sound like a fun read. First wisp of wind brushed across the land. Birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They asked the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, you have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, What you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. story, but is the knight's gliding manual really written in that style? Huh. Anyway, let's go find Amber.
my strength still fails. Disappear!
come a little closer. Come a little closer. <laughs> come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. read-through of the gliding manual? Got all the rules down? Sounds like it was a real drag. I would know. I've been there. Ugh, the gliding manual is super dry. I couldn't get into it at all. <gasps> Don't tell Jean, though. Really? Hmm. Paimon thought there were some pretty cool stories in the gliding manual. Cool stories? Oh, you must mean the example cases in the appendix. Some of them I like. My favorite one is about the illegal animo slime takeoff. Apparently, if you pop an animo slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. I really want to try it. No, not that story. Paimon meant the one with the little bird who wanted to learn to fly. Uh, what? Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. This is the storybook I used to read as a kid. Oops, sorry. I put both books in the same pile and must have grabbed the wrong one when I was leaving. How in the heck do you confuse a bedtime story with an instruction manual? Uh, uh this is so embarrassing. It's because, maybe deep down inside, that fairy tale is the thing that truly taught me how to glide. What you lacked was not wind. It's courage that's allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Reading that gave me the courage to glide, to become an outrider, and to become the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to the exam. Don't be nervous. Just glide like you're used to. Okay then, you just need to follow the marked route to the finish.
then. But it's no surprise, given the way you handle your glider in a storm. The next part of the exam is in Mondstadt. See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Alrighty then. You heard her. Back to the city. Let's not keep her waiting.
Disappear!
You're taking me out? I still have a lot to... Yep. Outrider Amber, reporting.
Retribution!
frostbite. Cool it. Wind blade.
Verdict is... Disappear! Go, go, Baron! Ha! 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 Let it rain! Ha! Ha! Ha!